you know, people are asking me, they're like, Frank, why are you trying to get a TV show? It's like, first of all, I'm aiming for Netflix. But now, with the net, I don't need either of them. I just find that voices like mine are wildly underrepresented in mainstream media. It's like all I'm hearing is abolish the police, defund the police. What? So I'm supposed to rely on some hipster broad playing Cat's Cradle with a bag of yarn to respond to a B&E at my gym? How about defund Planned Parenthood? I got no use for them anymore so anyway. What's up everybody? I'm obviously Frank Rigatone. You probably know me from my viral video a few weeks back, defying Governor Homo's fascist orders to keep all businesses closed. I did open my gym, but unfortunately he sent his army of libtards to my place of business to enforce the shutdown, so I spent the better part of a week in county lockup. Do I regret my decision? Absolutely not. I met a special someone in that gym. I don't count it as an homosexual encounter because frankly I was emotionally vulnerable and he was offering support that I desperately needed in that time. Oh yeah, this is good stuff. I think we got it. Got it? Just, what's the point? No, this is a uh, television uh, for TV. We're shooting for a sizzler reel, you know? One of my buddies who's in TV told me that I should sh shoot one. There's high interest in somebody like me to fulfill some uh, entertainment needs. I get it, it just doesn't make any sense. Uh, well, it does because the sense of what I put in your fucking pocket to make sure that you do this work. I'm compensating you with American dollars and currency, so shut your face, take off your colored hat, and let's go. Let's go back here. Wait till I show you what I've been working on since I got my gym taken away. It's really innovative shit. Oh, and just so everybody knows, I want to be clear, I'm getting a lot of shade thrown on me from the internet and everything. People are calling me a Republican, some conservative maniac. I'm not. I'm a libertarian. It's like, get the fuck off my property. Anything else is up to you. So let me show you guys what I've been up to since I got released from the can. And unfortunately, the police seized all of my gym equipment. I've been getting pretty creative with some of the stuff that I've been working out on. Obviously, I've been antiquing, picking up some, some various forms of equipment, both weightlifting and farm. We're just trying to work out muscles, right? However you do it, whatever you got, just lift, lift, lift. Right here, something I picked up at prison. Bricks. Bricks, perhaps the most versatile lifting instrument you could possibly ask for. I mean, look at this. Curls, in tight. Curls, out wide. Push out. Not quite sure what muscle group that works out, but either way, it's all good for me, you know? And if you want, you can just write a note on one of these things and throw it through the love of your life's window. You can do anything. It's like a line sled for the NFL. They do the same training, but this one actually is harder because it doesn't work. I won the strongman competition in Petite Teen Mr. New York. Still got it. Rigatone. Frank Rigatone is not somebody who's afraid to have an opinion. A lot of people are keeping their thoughts close to their chest so they won't get canceled or fired or Me too or whatever. If Me Too was around at the time that I was marrying my wife, they'd open up a cold case right now. Listen, I'm just a normal American guy. I pull my pants up one flag at a time. Frank. Who's that? Come on, I need you to come inside. The cats are eating their poop again. Come on. Larry Jean, come on! I'm filming something. I told you I needed the day. I know, you're, you're M. Night Shyamalan all of a sudden, but I, I need you to come inside, help with the cats, please. Wait, what, what, what do you mean? There's no twist in this. Uh, it's straightforward. It's, there's no twist yet. You don't know. It's not the end of the movie yet. Maybe so. there'll be a twist later when we go in the bedroom. Okay, all right, stop it. Jesus Christ, get out of here. Why don't you shake your hefty ass back in that house that I pay for? Stop it. We could be Ray J and Kim, baby. Now listen, I'm not gonna lie or sugarcoat nothing. I want this to be truthful. Frank's had a few scrapes with the law, you know? I'd done a few bids, all that stuff, but once I got out, I pulled myself up by my bootstraps and became a self-made man. Thanks in large part to a sizable settlement I got while injured being an iron worker. This is where I come sometimes to think. 
fucking Antifa. This is what I drive into the protests. <clears throat> Out of the way, you malnourished malcontent. Listen, one thing Frank Rigatone will not do, it's put on a goddamn mask. You'll never see me wearing a mask. It infringes on my personal freedoms. Plus, it makes it very difficult for my phone to read my facial features and open up. If you try to force a piece of cloth over my face, I will cough directly in your mouth. And I got distance. I'll hit the hangball. So, Frank, introduce us to your wife. All right, hey, this is uh, Mary Jean Rigatone. You've been married for a while, not Mary Jane, like some of you dope smokers, you know? <laughs> oh, God. Dang, he's, he thinks he's so Hollywood. We're not filming, right? We met um, back in high school. He was my first and my last. Um, Goddamn right. We dated on and off sporadically throughout the years of uh, high school, middle school, and, uh, you know, I wasn't quite into him the way he was into me, but he did wear me down with persistence and a lot of aggression and borderline sexually harassed me until I gave... Well, only under today's standards. I mean, you know, let, let's, let's, let's be clear. I was persistent, I was romantic, and I was aggressive. I, I, I saw what I wanted, I went after it very, very hard. That's how you gotta do it, you know? This Me Too era, I don't understand. I had to force my wife to be interested in me, and now, look at her. She's living in a fucking castle. Yes, women now, they don't understand that. The subtleties of love like that. Right, Frankie? I agree. I love you. I love you. Listen, I'm a proud product of immigrants. My family came over here from Italy, had to do a few illegal, sometimes immoral things just to survive and establish ourselves. Fully on board with building a wall now, though. Listen, I just want this to look like Jawhead meets Summer House. I'll never understand white privilege. All lives matter. That's right, honey. They do. All lives. I don't understand. Why is that the incorrect thing to say? All lives encompasses Black lives, that's an expanded bit of empathy. All black lives fall under all lives. Except for that one kid. You remember that one kid? Mm. Tried to date Sloane, our niece, right? And he bounced because her brother gave him a background check on the spot. He was clean. Yeah, considering the name he gave us. Who fucking knows? But I'll tell you this one thing. That 75-year-old in Buffalo that got shoved by the police, he was an Antifa agitator. He had a blood pack on the back of his head, shot right out of his ears. The whole thing was staged. Unbelievable. Listen, I think it's just very clear that the CDC and WHO are working for China. I mean, there's not an L in either of them. Tell them how good I was at baseball, though, how much that turned you on. You were very good at, at turning... All-town shortstop. You didn't really... He didn't play that much. He, he was a mascot for a while, and then he passed out in the mask, and they felt bad, I believe. Well, and they needed to give me air, so they put me out on the field. Mm -hmm. I played shortstop, I made mm -hmm. two outs, and that was the end of my career. All-town. Mm -hmm. Yep, he was very good. This is something I don't tell too many people, but we're doing a TV show, I'm trying to bear all. I lost my toes in a tragic deadlifting accident. I'm wearing prosthetics now, but without them, my foot looks like Mr. Peanut. You know, a lot of people don't understand my husband. They have a certain view of who he is and what they think he is. And that's kind of what America is right now. But I, I gotta tell you, he's, he's a great guy. He's very sensitive, he's very nice, he's well read. He listens to Joe Rogan, he reads. He reads to me at night because I can't sleep. You know, on our first date, I told him I loved dandelions. Five years later, on our fifth anniversary, I walk into the house it's covered in dandelions with a big sign that says, I love you. Now that's a good man. And I don't care what anybody hey, says. Hey, Toots! <laughs> Monster Energy drink, new sponsor of the gym. Look at this broad. She can't even swim. She come out of break at night, and the pink skies waving goodbye.